This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number five from the January 2022 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P1 exam. And this question here is about radian measure. It says Figure two shows a plain, sorry, a plan view of a semicircular garden A, B, C, D, E, O, A. The semicircle has a center O a diameter AOE, and a radius 3 meters. So that radius is 3 meters. Okay. The straight line BD is parallel to AE, and BOA is 0 0.7 radians. Okay, so this angle here, this angle here is 0 0.7 radians. Okay, radians. Show that to four significant figures, BOD, angle BOD is 1.742 radians. So from here to here, BOD would be this angle over here. Okay, this angle is, we have to show, we have to find this angle, I'll call it theta. All right, so I have got a copy of the diagram here. So just put, let me put those values back in here again. Okay, so we know Okay, so we know that this is 0 0.7 radians. Okay, and we're going to find this angle here. All right, so now, um, <clears throat> I know that the radius is of this is um, 3 meters. So this is 3 meters. Okay, and um, that means this is also 3 meters. And this is also 3 meters. So radius. We also know that this line is parallel to this line. So I can say for sure that this angle is equal to this angle. I can say angle O, B, D is equal to angle A, O, B. Why? Because they are alternate angles. Alternate angles. Okay. So these two angles are the same. This angle is the same as this angle. So that's 0 0.7. And for the same reason, I can say this angle is the same. Well, actually, what we can say here to... to to be clear, is because this is an isosceles triangle, so we can say triangle BOD is isosceles. Isosceles. I think I spelled that wrong. Anyway, um, <coughs> if this isosceles, then this angle is also 0 0.7. So we can say angle um, BDO is equal to angle um, OBD. Okay, you can say you know, base angles in an isosceles triangle. We don't have to actually show these steps here because it's only worth one mark, all right? But I know this is also 0 0.7 radians. Okay, so therefore, what I can say is angle BOD, which we have to find. So angle BOD is equal to um, pi minus, remember pi is 180 uh, degrees, is, is in radians, basically, it's in radian measure. The, the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees or pi radians. Pi minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7. Okay, so that's going to give you um, pi, I'll put it in the exact value, pi minus 1.4. That gives you 1.74159. 74159. Continues on. We want to show that it's 1.74 to four significant figures. So one, two, three, four. That's 1.742 radians. Okay. So there's angle B O D. Okay. So I went through a bit of reasoning here to show you that that's the reason why this is um, 1.742. Okay. Um, they told us that these are parallel. So this angle is 0 0.7, same as this. And therefore, uh, this angle is also 0 0.7 because this is an isosceles triangle because they're both a radii. The, that means these two angles are the same. And this angle plus those two gives you 360 degrees, uh, 180 degrees, which is pi radians. The angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees or pi radians when we're dealing with radians. So there's the answer to part A. And there might be other ways of, of, of showing this. Okay, that's um, a way that you can say for sure. Um, 
Okay, so that's how I answered that question. Now, part B, it says the flower bed R shown shaded in figure two is bounded by BD and BC and arc BCD. So we've got the shaded region here, which is the flower bed part. We want to find the area of the shaded region. So again, we have the diagram. We know um, the radius is three meters and we know the angle is, what was it again? The angle was 1.742 radians. I'll use it in that form. 1.742 radians. Okay, so that's the angle there. All right, we want to find the area of the flower bed. Now, what we can do is to find the area of the flower bed, which is this segment, we can find the area of the whole sector, the area of the whole sector, and subtract from it the area of this triangle. If I take away the area of the triangle from the area of the sector, I'm left with the area of the segment. So we can say the area of R is going to be equal to the area of the whole sector, which is given by a half R squared times the angle that makes the sector, minus the area of the triangle, which is given by a half AB sine C. We have two sides, and we know the angle between them. The two sides are both the radius, so half times R squared times the sine of the angle between them. So if you look at this, this is actually the formula half R squared in brackets, theta minus sine theta. This is a formula for the area of a sector. Okay, so this is something that you can actually just quote it, but I'm just showing you where it comes from. The area of the sector, take away the area of the triangle, gives you the area of the segment R, which we're looking for. So we know the value of R is 3. We know the uh, angle is 1.742 in radians. And this formula, by the way, can only work with radians. This is only true when we're dealing with radians, not with degrees. Okay, this can only work with radians, not with degrees. Um, and the reason is basically because for degrees, we have the formula theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared is the area of a sector. Okay, so if we're dealing in radians, this will be theta over 2 pi times pi r squared because 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. And you'll see the pi's cancel out and we're left with a half r squared theta so this formula only works when we're dealing with radians okay so if this is in radians of course this must also be in radians then for it to give you the proper answer so it's better to keep them if you got, you know if you quoted this in radians then of course you'll quote that in radians so you have a half times the radius which is three squared times the angle which is 1.742 minus the sine of 1.742 and that will give us the answer we want to give the area to one decimal place. So using this to four significant figures is fine. I don't need to be more accurate than this. I can just even use my calculator value, the answer that I've got. So I could even do this 0 0.5 times three squared brackets, answer minus the sign of my answer. But now I have to be careful Okay, that I have my calculator in radian mode because I'm using trigonometry, because I'm using sine. Okay, now it's in radian mode. When I press equals, it should give me the correct answer. 3.4026, 3.4026. This is in meters squared. Therefore, the, the area of R is going to be 3.4 meter squared to one decimal place as they asked us to to give it that's the area of the flower bed and secondly we have to find the perimeter of the flower bed okay which is going to be basically the length of this arc okay so you're going to have the perimeter of the flower bed is the length of the arc okay bd you can say bcd so we're going the right way bcd that's the length of the arc plus the length of the line bd the line BD. Okay, so for the length of the arc, we know the length of an arc is given by the formula um, R theta when you're dealing with radians. And again, it's because of the same reason as we mentioned before, theta over 360 for the length of an arc, it's that fraction of the circumference we're looking for. So theta over 360 times 2 pi R. If we're dealing with radians, this becomes 2 pi. They cancel out, you're left with pi uh, theta times R. So if R theta is the length of the arc when we're dealing with radians. And that's how we can find the length of the arc. Now BD we can find 
We could find it using the sine rule or even the cosine rule because I can find out what these angles are. In fact, I know what these angles are. This angle is, um, as we learnt in the first part of the question, this angle was given as 0 0.7 radians. So in fact, probably easier is for us to use the fact that we know these angles. We can use the sine rule. The sine rule will probably be easier to find um, BD. So I can find what BD is using the sine rule. So I can say, first of all, the length of the arc is R times theta, which is 3 times theta, which is 1.742, plus, uh, so we're looking, we're looking at the perimeter now of the shape, plus BD, which we can use a sine rule. Now we can say that um, we got um, BD, okay, over the sine of the angle Oh, so, sorry, BD is the length over the sine of the angle opposite it, which is 1.742, is equal to 3 over 0. Point, sine of 0. 0.7. Sorry, sine of 0. 0.7. So the length over the sine of the angle opposite it is equal to, gives you the same ratio of another length divided by the sine of the angle opposite it. That's the sine rule. Okay, so we can say that BD is going to be 3 times the sine of 1.742 over the sine of 0 0.7. Okay, so we'll have 3 times the sine of 1.742 over the sine of 0 0.7, and that should give me the perimeter of this, of this shaded region, this line and this arc. Okay, it's just the length of its outline. Okay, and that's the flower bed, yeah. Okay, good. So it's the flower bed they're looking for. So 3 times... 1.742 plus, and I have 3 times the sine of 1.742, close that bracket, divided by the sine of 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and we're in radian mode, so that should be fine, and that gives the answer 9.8147. 9.8147, again to one decimal place, so the perimeter is 9.8 meters. So that's the perimeter, and that's the area of R. That's the area of R. Okay, and that's the perimeter of R. So we've got the answer there um, for this question, part C, and that concludes this question on ra <coughs> radian measure from the P1 paper, January 2022. Other questions from this paper can be found in the link that should be found in this area here. Um, other questions can you can find by clicking on the link that will be found. Other questions from this topic of radian measure can be found in this link for, for P1 radian measure. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.